personal accountant, physician, and administrator of Legatus... I know, Cineros. There are times one's reputation precedes oneself. Ave, Pompeius. I'm honored by your recognition. Would it be correct to assume you know why I'm here? Then? Well, judging by what's happening to the city as of this moment, I'd guess it's either to kill me or to enlist my aid. The letter, of course. My Dominus would not have sent me if uh, he had violent intent. Let us listen to your words, then, hoping they won't fail you. May I inquire as to your stance regarding the current conflict we find ourselves in? Let us make one thing clear. You have created this conflict. I am merely watching things unfold as of now. My mind is not made up yet. Surely you can't consider supporting Vitellius Loco. I consider many things, Sowe. Supporting the rightful consul of Rome is something I will probably not refuse if he seeks my help. Loco is a diplomat who seeks war at the expense of the people. He does not understand war or its consequences. In politics, everyone thinks of their own profits first. Why should I join you instead of him? Loco didn't ask you first. Very well. Tell your Dominus I will remain on the sidelines. You have my word. Well, that was easy. Okay, because we asked first. Okay, Campos Matheus. Um. Okay. Bestia Tabat. Absent in the moment, can't be brought with you. Oh, oh I see. Well, I, I'm not a big fan of that. Princeps. Oh dear, so we can't bring more, or we can't bring the other ones. So we should have gone in there alone. It was a bit of a waste of um, of people. Oh dear. Now well, let's see what the future holds with Lucius Eruccius Corvinus. Stay back, bestia Tabat. You are surrounded by my best gladiator archers. It is unwise trusting gladiators. They could easily change their allegiances. You're bluffing. I paid them handsomely. For some people, there are simply more valuable things than Denardi. Some people are foolish indeed to fight for the losing side. All right, I'll humor you. Let's say you have me outnumbered. The fact that we're still talking means I have something you want. Let's hear what you have to say. If it's foolish to fight for the losing side, why are you still fighting for Lurko? Even if Lurko dies, those who kill him will be branded criminals. I have nothing to gain by supporting you and yours. Your friends, all dead. What makes you think you'll survive? <laughs> You're so naive. Friends only get you killed, and I am alive, aren't I? Our Legatus wants you alive and on his side, and he's willing to pay handsomely. Handsomely? My fee can be very handsome, indeed. Can your Legatus part with, say, 10,000 denarii? If that's what you wish. Unexpected. Very well. I shall honor this contract. Unless someone pays me more. That is unlikely. So, Cato, Cicero, Julia, Calida, or Dianera? We're going to bring Julia. Secundus, Quintus Atreus. Let's see if we can convince them. Julia Calida, I should have known. Prepare yourself, Kikoro. Our death has arrived. Few survive an encounter with this woman. Death is what I usually deliver, but not today, unless you desire it. Let me guess. You want us as sponsors, defending your cause in front of the Senate. You want the Optimates to support the new king. Never. 
Legatus does not intend to become king, and if he changes his mind, I will stop him personally. I believe her, Kato. She may be a murderer, but she has conviction. Why should I trust you, Yulia, when you don't trust the people? Lurko does not represent the people. He's a criminal. Perhaps he is, but they did elect him consul. Do you think you have the authority to overrule democracy? Can we save or no? It doesn't matter who declares what. It's simply the truth. I know you agree. Truth is fairly relative. It depends on who's talking and who's listening. We always supported you in the past. That doesn't change anything. The Republic will not be bought and sold for your favors. Our enemy deceived everyone. He will win if, if we play by the rules. Yet by breaking the rules, you prove him right. This is a temporary thing. You know the Legatus will establish order as soon as possible. I have no reason to believe that. I can't support someone who disregard all virtue in the name of vengeance. I believe we have exhausted all lines of inquiry. Still yourself, Kikoro. Our time has come to die for the what? Republic. No. Oh no. That's not okay. The two coolest persons. Oh dear. The taste of Roman steel. <sighs> what a shame. What a shame. I didn't need to die. What a shame. Well, we will see uh, the other path, the truth, bringing witnesses. The hour of reckoning is at hand. A grim task awaits us. It's time to formally declare martial law. Not every citizen will take kindly to that. I know I wouldn't. So let's make sure we control the market when the news is read. Our enemies will exploit the uproar to move against us. Unlikely. Formulating a plan takes time. A resource we have so far denied them. Many of the senators who still oppose us employ gladiators for their own protection and other less moral purposes. Of course, they all have their own lictors as well. How many lictors and gladiators do we expect? Depends on how fearful they are. The more cautious among them will hold their people back to defend their own villas or to fortify the Senate. There's more. We've received reports that individual men from Legio Ferrata have taken up arms against us. Where did they get their weapons? We believe they have retrieved their equipment from the Gallic War. Fighting trained legionari in the streets of Rome is the last All thing of Ferrata would be no match for a single cohort of weak tricks. A few scattered legionari will pose no threat. It's not just about the legionari themselves, Bestia. They might rally the citizens against us. Our legion and theirs did not exactly get along, but still... Our people will not be happy to fight Roman legionari. We're getting ahead of ourselves. Give me a report. How did your missions go? Let's just say not everyone was swayed by our arguments. It's a revolution. As I understand, these things rarely happen without some bloodshed. 
We will need the newsreaders to announce that we are instituting martial law. A declaration of martial law is just so many words. It means nothing unless we speak from the very heart of Rome. We need to be at the Senate. The Consul is holed up at the Senate with his remaining supporters. It may be the most heavily defended building in the world at this point. But you're right, Sir Wei. That's where we must go. Do we control the streets? To the best of our ability. We must control the city, Holly, if we hope to succeed. We're trying. But to be honest, Legio Weaktrix is not used to this kind of combat. The Forum Romanum and the rest of the Capitolium is still contested. Any word from the rest of Legio Ferrata? Only those few who have taken up arms for Lurko of their own initiative. Unlike Legio Weaktrix, they were disbanded as per tradition. It would be very difficult for Lurko to quickly muster his forces. I would really think thrice before underestimating that man, Prima. We must remove Lurko from office. Easier said than done. Indeed, if only conquering Rome were easy. Then she would have fallen long ago. I see your point. The Forum is heavily fortified indeed. Our Legi and Ari are trying to keep the Capitolium secure, but the Consul called upon the citizens of Rome. They are eager to defend their Republic, with their lives, if necessary. They may be disguided, but we are not. Our duty is to protect them. Best of luck to us all. In their eyes, we're nothing but bandits now. We must make our declaration of martial law near the Senate. If Lurko somehow manages to muster the rest of Ligio Ferrata, the announcement will be useless. Even the few stragglers who took up arms again on their own initiative could scuttle our plans. But since we control the access routes, we can funnel them to a specific position. Where a dedicated group of defenders can shut the trap and kill them all. A sound plan. If we can spare another group for the protection of the newsreader. The most difficult task will be the main assault. You must fight your way through all their defenses to reach the Senate. Much blood has been spilled, and still more will be. Let us make sure it wasn't for nothing. At least this blood has been spilled for a good cause. All right. Time is of the essence. No more talk. You have all heard the Legatus. Prepare for the final push. Secure control of the city streets, then push through the Senate. Alrighty. Praetorians, companions. Okay, there we so our entire Sagittarius, our entire force will push from the south. Oh dear. Well so be it. The final push to control Rome will commence. Right after the loading screen is finished. Good people of Rome, martial law is in effect for the safety of all citizens. Groups of more than three men shall not congregate in public spaces. A curfew is in effect. Any person found on the streets after dark will be subject to summary judgment. That's preposterous. Who is making these decrees? Long live the Legatus of Legio Weatrix. I'm a citizen of Rome. We have rights. Down with you and your legatus. Vitellius Lorco is consul, not you. Your decrees are worthless. Seeking only peace and the unnecessary shedding of Roman blood, Vivius Vitellius Lurco has been publicly implored to accept truce and lay down his arms. Take your truce and stick it up your ass. Let's show them how we feel about their curfew. Who's with me? Form up. Protect the newsreader. That's right. Please protect the newsreader. We're citizens. We have rights.
be to eliminate lurker soldiers. The newsreader must live. That's problematic, they throw fire. So there's one, there are two. I never thought this would happen here! I bet if we kill enough of them, the crowd will disperse. You're right. We may not even need to kill the citizens. Wait, what? That's what You'll feel my wrath if I ever get up. We need water. And we need it fast. Did he just go through the fire? The AI routes are ridiculous. Guys, we have one man down. Are you serious? That's not acceptable. Huh. We're going to leave him behind. Not going to happen. Surrender, and you may be spared.
bigger they are, the faster they fall. Like the other team has things under control. We have a task. Let us focus on this. We can slip in here, through the alley. There's more cover that way. Our catapults will make short work of those barricades on the corner. Well, and how am I supposed to get through the alley? But that plan doesn't work out very well. I can't get through here. Maybe they meant that alley. Yeah, they meant the other alley. Yay! Okay. So. Da, da, da. Oh! 
where you need them now. Didn't see that coming, huh? Lucky little bastard. Seventeen critical. Ridiculous. Sure where that came from. What the My fuck? Does anybody is here actually me. know how to fight? Come to my aid, you useless mules! Oh, they don't count. Interesting. Since they are not our main party. Okay, I see. That's the story for another episode.